Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advance Group. What are we talking about today, Storm? Uh, today we are talking about some bolts. Yep. And it looks like we have three different pairs here. Yep. So maybe we'll start with this pair here. What bolts yep. are these called? Okay, so um, you can hold one if you like. This is called a screw bolt. Um, that would be like a generic term. Uh, in the old days, most uh, bolts for masonry were diner bolts. Mm -hmm. And um, probably in the last five, maybe 10 years, I guess, these started becoming a bit more popular. Um, now, they have a few different features. Um, obviously, it's got a bit of a, a thread, if you could call it that. Mm -hmm. um, it's obviously got a head. The uh, end of it's sort of tapered a bit. Um, it doesn't really show, you wouldn't be able to see it in the video, we might be able to put a close-up photo. It's got some little saw teeth here. Um, now this is a 10 by 60, so 10 would be the uh, you know uh, metric di uh, diameter of this the shaft, and um, the 60 would be the uh, length of the thread uh, to the bolt head. Now, um, we most commonly use these for putting um, wheel sorry, speed humps onto uh, concrete. Mm. Um, so, um, yeah, b because it's a little bit more of a rare type bolt, I um, thought we'd do a video about it. Uh, we've got some longer ones here, obviously, in mm -hmm. a different style here. Um, so, yeah, so that's uh, the introduction. Did you say what they were made out of? Uh, this is a hot tip gal. Yep, yep. okay. Um, with, uh, I think it's a high, t yeah, this is a high tensile. Um, the uh, mild steel can break when you're trying to use your uh, impact wrench um, or a uh, rattle gun or you know various other things that you might use um, you know high power drills that could potentially break them when you're trying to put them uh, in and out and um, so yeah we've gone all of these are all high tensile yeah this style is it only come in this size um, so there's a lot of different sizes of these. Some people might call this a, an Excalibur bolt um, because that might be like a brand name that they might know of. Um, there are other names for them that are brand names, mm -hmm. um, but for the ease of descriptions, we actually call them a screw bolt. Um, now, um, yeah, other people might have other names for them, but um, f for now we can use the generic term. Do they come individually or? Two. So uh, we sell them individually. Mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, when people are buying speed humps off us and they choose uh, uh, to, to get the bolts with them, we would send these. Um, now, we've installed speed humps all different sorts of ways over the, in the past, and um, we found that this is the best. Now, um, some people might prefer other ways, but that's up to them. Um, before these were available, we probably had what's called a flush head diner bolt. Um, and that meant that they didn't have a, a part of the thread protruding up past the nut. And um, they were okay, but not great. Um, hard to remove, etc. These are easy to remove if, if you need to, to remove them. Mm -hmm. um, yep. How many do you think they need for each speed bump? Oh, so um, typically it's eight per, per metre. Yep. Um, uh, a lot of the speed humps come in quarter metre sections. Mm -hmm. So um, if you needed to order extra of these, you could order them separately to the speed humps. A lot of people just would order them with the speed humps because there's an option for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else we need to know about these before we move on? Um, sure. So uh, in order to uh, install them, uh, we would use a 10 mil or M10 um, uh, rotary hammer drill uh, bit and uh, or SDS bit. Typically, so the SDS bit, you can get two different types. One um, will just have like a straight piece of tungsten, um, which um, is the bit that's the tooth, I guess, that, that sort of drip, uh, grinds the concrete. Um, and um, if it's just got that straight bit of tungsten, uh, I have had trouble in the past when you're drilling it, um, it, when the Rio is probably 60 mil under the ground, up, 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 under the surface, it can get stuck. Um, so there is a drill bit that has um, like an X on the uh, for the tungsten, and uh, they don't get stuck as as much when you're going past the Rio. Mm. Um, so and also they it's faster at drilling the hole. So make sure that obviously you drill 
deeper than than um, than the depth of this because the dust falls back in and then it won't go all the way down. It'll get stuck. Um, and also, preferably, even if you have a vacuum on site, like a shop vac that's um, possibly wet and dry, um, you know, you can get some pretty good uh, vacs that you can take out to site, battery operated ones as well, um, so that you can get that dust out before putting them down. Um, that'll stop you having to drill as deep a hole or it getting stuck when you're trying to um, fix it down. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this will this will be fine to be immersed in water for probably, you know, 50 years, no problem. Um, and um, I guess uh, there's probably videos already on how to install wheel uh, speed humps. Um, so maybe I won't go into any more about how to install speed humps, but um, this definitely would be my favorite for installing speed humps. And we've done, you know, thousands of meters over the years. Yeah, nice. Yep. So now we have these. Um, yep. bolts. Um, yep. What do you use these ones for? So the same sort of thing except these are for uh, wheel stops. So typically the wheel stops we sell have three holes mm -hmm. and um, uh, we, this is a 12 by 150. So um, with the uh, wheel stop we will generally lay them out where they need to be placed, um, drill the holes a bit deeper than, um, than the length of this. And again, if you can vacuum it out, great. If you can't, just make sure you've drilled f far enough so that the dust um, doesn't stop this from um, from getting fixed down. And then you can um, put that in with a uh, impact wrench or a rattle gun or something. Is there a reason there's red on the ends? Um, it would just be to dis differentiate the, the different ones in the factory, I, I think. Okay. Um, I know that the Powers Fasteners ones had a blue tip. Yep. Um, these aren't from Powers Fasteners, um, and these have a red tip. So mm -hmm. don't don't ask me why they've decided to do that. Mm -hmm. I couldn't exactly t tell you. So in these types of ones, Powers Fasteners, which is one of Australia's biggest um, bolt companies, they would call them a blue tip. Yeah. Blue tip screw bolt. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, so we don't sell the Powers ones just because they're so expensive. And do you yeah. know the measurements of these? So yeah, so you'd use a 12 mil SDS bit, mm -hmm. and that length of this shaft is 150 mil. Yep. Um, and you'll notice the the uh, thread doesn't go all of the way. That's pretty standard when you get long bolts. Um, and do these come with the um, wheel stops as well? So yeah, if you're choosing uh, to have fixings with your wheel stops when you're at checkout on the shopping cart or or whatever, um, it will have an option for for fixings whether you want fixings or not and what type of fixings, whether it's for asphalt or concrete. Mm -hmm. And these are ones that we prefer for concrete. And they're sold individually as well? Yeah, yeah. We, if you need more of them, you can find them on our website um, by um, typing in any of the words that we've been calling them. Mm -hmm. yep. And are they made out of the same as yep, well? Yep, hot tip gal, yep. <laughs> yep. So, so they the last got... 50 years, in the, yep. even in, immersed in water um, normally. Yep. Yep. Um, is there anything else we know? Do we explain how to install them? Um, same sort of method, yep. Yep, yep. that's All the right. first slot. Yep. And what about these ones? These are a bit different. Yep. Okay, so this has got three components to it. Uh, we've got a, um, a nylon anchor. Now that's 14 mil by 90 mil from memory. Mm -hmm. um, this is Hilti. And so uh, we've been mostly using the Hilti nylon anchors with the coach screws and a large washer. Now, uh, if we're doing speed humps into asphalt, um, so this would be the concrete one, this would be the asphalt one. Mm -hmm. um, typically, I would um, lay out the speed humps in a straight line and then um, drill down with my 14 mil SDS bit on a rotary hammer drill. And then uh, to, there's a lot of different ways you could do it. Some people would remove the hump and put the plug in but I wouldn't do it that way I've tried to do it that way in the past and sometimes it damages the plastic when you're trying to ha hammer it down etc mm. what I've found is that if you can screw this in finger tight um, and then put it in the hole hit with your mallet until it goes down a bit now if you notice that the um, that the screw is going down and the plug isn't um, you can just screw it in a bit tighter and then keep hitting it until you get the um, you can watch the, the plug will get down flush with the asphalt, mm. and then you just uh, screw the last bit with your, um, you know, um, whether it's a rattle gun or whatever it is. Yep. So 
So these are like another option. You can just click and add if when you're buying the speed humps, etc. Yeah. So if you're yeah. buying your speed humps, you'll typically get either this one or this one if mm -hmm. you're choosing to add the um, the fixings. Mm -hmm. And so um, obviously they're not free, but um, uh, you know sometimes people don't want them mm -hmm. because they have a preference of their own fixing. <coughs> pardon yeah. me. Or um, sometimes people are buying things separately, etc. But um, yeah, typically if you're going to add uh, fixing with your speed hump, you'll choose either of these of these two. Yep. Are they made out of the same thing? Uh, this is an electroplated zinc, um, which is a slightly different way of um, galvanising something. Mm -hmm. So it won't last as long. It's um, high tensile, so that you don't break the head off when you're using your machine to to fix it down. Um, and then obviously it's a, a, a washer is zinc. It's a bit oversized, which is good uh, because you want that surface area pulling down on the speed hump so it's not breaking the mm. uh, at the fixing point on the speed hump when the cars are going over it continuously. Um, and so these would outlast the speed hump, no problems. Yeah, so how long do you think these will last? Uh, you'd probably find you'd get 10 to 20 years if it was immersed in water, yeah. um, no problems. Um, you know, once you start getting to the decades, mm -hmm. um, when it's immersed in water, electro gale doesn't last as long. Um, it, the rust will still, you know, um, n not completely decay through the steel, but it will definitely get very rusty. Yeah. Did you say the measurements of these? Uh, so, this uh, the red part is tw uh, 14 by 90 from memory, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, this is a 10 by 100. Um, and the washer would be a, um, uh, they probably call it a M13, um, which is the inside hole diameter, but it's probably got a 35 mil or something um, outside diameter, which is a bit of a rare washer. Um, and this is a rare plug. So mm -hmm. I guess having these videos of these sorts of bolts is, um, for some people they would have questions about the fixings, how to use them. Um, why we choose them, etc. Um, obviously, there's been lots of different bolt types used in the past um, with different levels of, of success, but these are the ones that we would choose for these sorts of um, installations deliberately because the others haven't been as, as, as good to, to work with. Yeah. If they accidentally lost like a washer, do you sell them individually as well? Uh, I think so. Yep. Um, don't quote me on it, but I think we do. Yep. 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 Okay, is there anything else we need to know about all that? Um, that's probably about it. Um, if you want to buy these products, you can go to www.advancedgroup.com.au and if you like the video, you want to see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye. bye.